Audio, everyone. Lawson here, back in action for Disney Volt Attraction. That's right. Turns out people stole Bambi from the Disney Vault. And we have to go find her. Or him. Wait, was Bambi a he? I don't know. I never watched the movie. Regardless, money's been stolen, and we need to know the why. It's a very impressive looking vault, Mr. Sloan's. Oh, <laughs> yes. This is the Hermit 5000. Uh, hermetically sealed, totally indestructible. You fire a shell from a tank at it, this thing. The contents would be unharmed. In fact, it's not really uh, enough to call it a vault. This thing is a fortress. Wowee. Does, does it really need to be so tough? Made of myself, lad. Well, one of the companies I own did, anyway. <laughs> Really, you are a company that makes vaults for banks. Let me tell you something, lad. It's not just people's money that a bank's vault keeps safe. It's also synergy. It's the bank's integrity and its customer's trust. Oh, that would be a smashing slogan for your new uh, vault. So as soon as uh, we completed the manufacture of the Hermit 5000, I'd installed it in the bank. Thought it would give our customers even more peace of mind. That's what I thought. I can't believe it's been breached so easily. I misjudged the one and no mistake. It's, hmm, so it's the latest model, this vault. Oh. I like how they're little stacks. It's really cute. They're little stacks of money. As for the latest man for the stones, it opens in the code and there's no sign of forced entry. Okay. Just look how thick and heavy this door is. Vault door can only be unlocked by entering the uh, correct passcode. And the only three people who know that code are Mr. Sloan's himself, Miss Stella, uh, who you met before, and the manager of this branch, uh, Mr. Shin Plasters. Who's now in hospital, of course. So in other words, no one can open the vault apart from those three people. I see. When the security guard noticed uh, there was a problem this morning, he uh, found the door open already. And the branch manager was out cold on the floor. So presumably, uh, he was the one who opened the vault then. That's the one explanation we've been able to come up with so far, yeah? We have a good look at the vault, then there are no signs of it of being forced or jimmied in any way. A great big door like this one could be impossible if forced open, surely. Exactly. So either Shin uh, Plasters was coerced into opening the bolt, or the criminal slipped in after he'd opened it for himself. They're the only two possible explanations as far as I can tell, right? Hmm, yes. <laughs> yes, okay. A little thing there with nothing else. Oh. More hint coin. Give me more hint coin. Someone wasn't taking any chances when they uh, designed that door. Uh, there appears to be a sensor on the inside of the door, too. Measure, uh... Uh, temperature and humidity. I wonder what all the uh, hog wheels are for. Part of the uh, lock on the me or the mechanism for opening and closing the door, perhaps. I mean, mayhaps. Oh. I understand you were the first person on the scene. Is that right? You're a security guard here, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. I still can't believe it. How could this have happened? That's what we're trying to find out. Could you tell us what you saw this morning, please? Well, it's my job to keep watching in the foyer area overnight, see? Uh, from when the bank uh, closes one day to the next morning. I was keeping a lookout all night, and I swear I never spotted nothing strange. Then early in the morning, Mr. Shinplasher showed up as usual. He's the boss, you see? Does Mr. Shinplasters... Always come in early in the morning. 
Yeah, he's always very busy, so he usually tries to get in before everyone else. He must have had something to do with the vault because he went straight uh, through the foyer and head downstairs. Not long after that, I heard him cry out. I ran down here as quickly as I could. And when I got here, the vault door was wide open. You look inside the vault at the time. Well, I was worried, see? I thought there might be a robber in there or something. Uh, but I thought I should be brave, so I just uh, pepped in quickly. And that's when I saw the body flat on the floor. That was actually Mr. Shinblasters, wasn't it? It was, yeah? And yeah, there was no one else uh, about at all. N not in the vault or out of it. What did he do next? I dialed 999. I uh, straight away, of course. And then I called uh, Miss Teller. She's the general manager. Uh, you're supposed to call the general manager if there's anything uh, not right, see? When she showed up and saw the vault, she nearly had a heart attack. 100 million quad. Gone. So it was Miss Teller who first realized how much was missing. Yeah, it's not my business knowing how much is stashed in the vault, see? Then the boys in blue showed up in the ambulances. It was a uh, carnival around here. And that's uh, all I could tell you. Is that right? That Mr. Shimbasa still hasn't regained consciousness? That's what I was told, yeah? He broke his leg as well, but they said it wasn't life-threatening. There's a good chance uh, he saw the culprit, though. What a dreadful shame he can't get a statement out of him. Yes, that's frustrating. Still, we must uh, push on with the investigation as best we can. Mm -hmm. We accidentally like went further ahead on things. Uh, I feel like if I touch that, it's gonna go into something. Another one? I, I guess I didn't get it on that end. Well, the solid construction, it seems inconceivable uh, that the walls or doors uh, could have uh, been compromised. Is the whole thing made of metal? All the way through. Well, dog my cats. State of the art of vault, hidden in the depths of a historical looking building. Oh, rather exciting. I, I guess. Hello, 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 wow, yeah. yeah Miss Layton and a trusty assistant. Ernest Grievens, I see. Hello, PC Beat. This is an amazing vault, isn't it? Although I imagine opening and closing it must be a lot of hard work. Ah. Uh, and you know, I have the self-same thought when I saw all Dick Dor wa it was. It turns out it's motorized. All you have to do is enter the code and press the button, and yep, presto, it opens automatically. So you don't need to be big and belly to open the vault then, I see. Not at all, Miss Layton. Even you'd be able to open it if you knew the code. Hmm, after everything we've been told so far, this doesn't seem like a rather... This does seem like a rather strange case, doesn't it? There's no trace of the robbery at all, and a single scrap of evidence. That's exactly the problem we're facing in our investigation, Sunshine. Well, before we give up hope, let's just look around inside the vault. That would be alright, wouldn't it, Mr. Sloans? Of course, we'll give you the guided tour. Where the vault is, I fair enough. I never normally have uh, the chance to see inside a bank's vault, would you? Uh, that isn't a vault, that's an arrow, uh, a plane hanger, is it? Gosh, imagine if you were uh, shut inside there by mistake, that would be jolly frightening, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, why did you plant that idea in my head? Also, bud, what is why do they have such tiny feet? Why do you have such tiny feet? My dude, you're gonna develop plenty of uh, fasciitis. You are not gonna be living a good life. My dude. My dude. It's, it's, it's gonna be a sad time for him. 
<sighs> hate to see it. I mean, I got similar problems too. My, my feet are arched, which isn't too bad, per se, but like, they can get bad. And on top of the fact that um, when your feet are arched, they're worse off standing. You have a worse time standing. On top of the fact that um, I am not pigeon toed, it's like the opposite. I do like a triangle with my feet. Um, a lot of uh, overweight people um, do that as like a coping mechanism for just uh, how much weight we have. And admittedly, yeah, I, I am overweight. I wouldn't say that I'm obese. Um, what is that one thing? It's a racist ICB? IV weight? Something like that. That's the racist one. That's the racist weight where it's just like, oh yeah, you're obese. Like, yeah, compared to like a white man, like in his 40s or something, like, god damn. Like, <laughs> oh, it's just bad. Regardless. This is the inside of the vault, looks like. It's enormous, isn't it? And so shiny. The entire uh, thing is made of metal. That's what's good. The walls are just as thick as the doors, and made with heavy metal plates. How could anyone manage to steal anything from such an impenetrable box? The answers are locked within, Ernest. That's why we need to investigate. Okay, there's just a dude here? I see, what an incredibly large fan. That lad is the heart of the Hermit uh, 5000's ventilation system. Their temperature and immunity are, are keep constant at all times. And why do you need air conditioning in a vault? People only come in for very short periods of time, surely. We don't just keep cash in our bank's vault. You see, we store expensive jewelry and works of art for our customers too. Things that could be ruined by even the slightest variations in temperatures or humidity. The Hermit 5000 isn't just as strong as an ox, it's as gentle as a lamb to the things inside as well. Oh, I see. Yes, rather like the air conditioning that's used in the museums and art galleries, of course. That's the idea, lad. Yes, although I have to confess, the fan's been on a blink a bit recently, so we've had to turn it off. Obviously, that doesn't affect the security of the vault in any way, though. I see. So the inside of the vault is managed using the large fan, which is connected to the ventilation system. Ah. Tear away piece. Big ventilation fan, part of the air conditioning system used to maintain temperature, prevent paper and other materials being damaged. What is oh you did it again? Even the ceiling of the vault was made of thick metal plate, I see. It's as gleaming as the walls and the door. All spick and span. What's above us here? The foyer we were in before? I guess. And so there are individual little safe deposit boxes built into the inside of the wall of the vault, I see. There must be all kinds of treasures behind these uh, little doors. Perhaps we should uh, consider keeping some of our paperwork in a safe deposit box at the bank, miss. Uh, I mean, what are you going to have that needs for safe deposited? There is an axe here? Old bars. Look, miss! Old a bullion boss! It's so many of them! Yes, that's what I expected to see inside a large big spot, really. Hmm. What is it? Have you spawned and sold the cat? How long has this bullion uh, been in the vault, Inspector? Do you know? You told me it's been sitting here for about a month now? In other words, the thief or thieves who stole the 100 million pounds would have also seen this gold, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's true. But Miss Teller informs me that, that every bar is accounted for. No gold was taken. Why, though? What thief would be uh, dazzled by it? Wouldn't be dazzled by all these gold bars? 
Oh, this is a bit odd, got to uh, mention it. I'll have to uh, have it all anyway, and no missing. I mean, that's not the thief's ever crossed uh, my mind, ever. I was just speaking hypothetically, all right? I think even you'd struggle to make off with much of this gold, Inspector. It's extremely heavy. Not something you'd want to be trying to move in a hurry. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. It would have slowed anyone who was down too much. So you think that's why the gold was left untouched and only the readies got uh, taken, do you? It's only a theory, but yes. We won't know for sure until we investigate it more thoroughly. Valid. Doesn't look as if it would be easy to force these little metal doors open either. No windows, of course. That would be silly. I should think this would be a trying place indeed for any uh, claustrophobic uh, sufferers. That's me! That's me for real! This is me! Ah, claustrophobia! Holy shit. Oh my god. On my end, I ended up turning up the volume because I got a little too excited about being claustrophobic. Which is a thing that happens, I guess. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, y'all. It's this. It sucks. It sucks. Ka hard. <laughs> like, if, if I start, like, having too many people in my area or, like, uh, if things start, like, being more cramped, I, I start having a, a bad time. I, I don't have it that bad, but I do have it. And it's there. Like, I go in tight spaces for a solid minute. And then that's it. You count me out after, I'll start freaking out. Like, nobody's business. It's, it's crazy. Uh, what are these? Inspector Hastings, were these pallets positioned like this when the vault was discovered open this morning? Absolutely. Off on taking the unconscious Mr. Shin uh, blasters away in the ambulance. The scene's exactly as was found. Apparently the missing money was stacked up on these pallets here. The fake notes weren't inside a case or box or anything then. Nope, not according to Miss Teller's a statement anyway. All those notes would have been rather heavy, wouldn't they? One person alone couldn't have taken them off, surely. Perhaps we're looking for a group of robbers? Well, that's a fair point, sunshine. Bank heists are uh, often carried out by more than one person. Now that's a good chance. Are oh, you right? Is this true? Oh golly! Is is this chalk line out of uh, Shin Plasters, the branch manager? Go. Yep. This is where we found him this morning. Looks uh, like he is. Uh, I don't know he uh, fell off the floor and knocked himself out. So they took him off to the hospital, and like I said, I'll have the old lads uh, mark uh, where he was found, just in case it turns out to be a pulp. It rather makes it uh, look like a murder scene, doesn't it? <sighs> Luckily, I don't think uh, there's any chance of that. They say his injuries are life-threatening. <laughs> but he hasn't regained consciousness yet, has he? Nope, the bloke's been out uh, with the fairies ever since he'd been discovered. Uh, which is right pain in terms of my investigation. So if you could just ask, well, uh, I'm a Woody, a uh, soul, he'd be in a much better position. This is fair. Well, your vault is uh, every bit as impressive inside as out, Mr. Sloans. Well, that's kind of you to say so, Lars. The Hermit 5000 is a proud achievement of our company, I must admit. Well, I should say it was. The fact that its security has been breached like this is a flaming embarrassment, to be frank. And as for the 100 mil, I won't beat around the bush. It very well be the end of a layman's reserve bank. But we gotta find whoever did this and bring that scum back to justice. Blah. I'll do my very best to solve the case for you, Mr. Sloans. Please, rest assured. <laughs> So about that, I got a bit of hole under the collar. Yikes, that's hot under the collar. I certainly don't want to see him angry. 
Yes, well, what is this person doing here? Hello, uh, DC Booker. Uh, so you're working on this case, are you? Could you tell us uh, what you found uh, out, Constable? Of course. Well, uh, I've interviewed a number of key people, and um, uh, yes, there it is. Apparently there were uh, works of art and very expensive pieces of jewelry in the vault here, as well as the gold. However, the thief or thieves uh, only took banknotes. The value of, mm, uh, yes, 100 million sterling. Everything else was untouched. It is particular that perhaps uh, whoever it was just couldn't be bothered to go through all the drawers. There are a lot of them. Don't assume the criminal was a uh, bone idle as you, cat. Perhaps it was just a matter of not having enough time to take anything other than the big notes. Uh, Pinch uh, could have a point there. Well, according to what it says here, uh, works of art and things can be hard uh, to sell while on without leaving a trail, you see. Hmm. Yes, that could be why only the cash was taken. Uh, apart from that, it just says here that I need to carry on investigating inside the vault, so... Hmm. I think I've seen enough in here for now. Oh, Miss Light would have worked out who did it already. No, I couldn't say uh, just yet. I need to do a little more investigative work first. I'm afraid I got a little bu uh, business matter to see, uh, too. I'll have to leave you to it, if that's all right. Uh, absolutely, you can leave this uh, in our hands, Mr. Sloans. Thank you, Mr. Layton. Good luck. Uh, right then, ta-ta for now. With his bank uh, 100 million down, I say you got uh, more than a few business matters to attend to. So then, Kent, as a result of investigators so far, here's my theory on what have uh, happened. You... you have a theory, Inspector? Well, you look so surprised, I am a detective, Inspector Cat. What I reckon is, the thief or thieves must have snuck into the bank sometime last night. Then, a hey, uh, or they... Oh, look at that! Professor Layton has gone woke! <laughs> oh, stupid. Oh, I can't believe people actually put that for likes and shit. Waiting for the branch manager to come uh, in in the morning. When he or she or they uh, forced them to enter the uh, security code. Now he or she or they only nicked the cash before it was first thing. He or she or they saw. And he or she or they didn't bother with the gold because it would have slowed them down or. Uh, uh, or, or them? Down too much during the, the getaway. And then he or she or they uh, pushed uh, shin blasters over the head and made a run for it. But what do you reckon? I think I needle. Hmm. He or she or they could have done that. Is that really what happened, I wonder? Well, you think I'm white on the mark, do you? Well, the security guard was in the foyer from the close of business yesterday, right through until this morning. And he claims there was nothing unusual uh, in all that time, doesn't he? Well, yeah, b but... Not to mention the fact that immediately after the incident this morning, he says he didn't see anyone other than Mr. Shin uh, Bastus. So apart from being a uh, long-winded, but they also fails to explain how he or she or they got in and out of the bank unnoticed. Oh, I, I suppose you got a point there. Back to the drum board then. What a shame. The bank would be in terrible uh, trouble if we don't solve this soon. A thief of 100 million pounds is going to be headline news all over the capital. Well, that's why it's all hush hush. Press can't get a hold of them. So, you mean this incident hasn't been uh, made public yet? Oh, and Miss Tell's been uh, pretty noisy about making sure we understand that's how it is to stay. It's bad news for the bank, this. I'm gonna say this right now. This kind of stuff is bullshit. You should not be allowed to withhold information like this. This is not right. 
whatsoever. It is very corrupt and I hate it. This is the kind of stuff that's like, oh, the police work for, for rich people, not anybody else, because it would hurt the bank's margins, but it would also help other bank margins. What's your point? It doesn't really matter all that much when it comes down to how it affects everybody except for withholding it. That's the problem. And it just, oh boy. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. My job has things like that where just like withhold the situation. Don't tell them this or that. I know my friend used to work at Target and like, don't tell them when they got COVID. Why? You're supposed to. People have a right to know that people got COVID around here and all that such. And again, at the same time, people are kind of assholes and just like, I don't know. It's hard to really say, but I generally do feel like if anyone had COVID in your, your little work stay, especially in the earlier bits of the era where people actually cared about it, should have been told, should have been said, this place got COVID because like, yeah, it would definitely help with the numbers and the information, but no! Rant over. I'll say, if it's not uh, dealt with in a proper way, it could mean uh, they have to close it down, even. But like I said before, mom's the word, got it? But as an officer of the law, I'm only delivering to keep this in the public for 24 hours. Uh, so we gotta find the dough before the end of the day. Just make sure you don't uh, go telling your neighbors about this or anything, all right? Tell everybody. As if I say a wolf to anyone. That reminds me, I think we need to ask Miss Tella a few more questions. She had the dash off before, didn't she? Well, she said she'd be in the office if we needed her. Alright then, shall we head up there now? You go on ahead. I'm going to stay here and push on with the investigation of the crime scene. Another one. Another one. Oh, does this have? No, it has three. There's just three of them. The bank robber. Whoever executed this heist somehow managed to get into the bank, open the vault, incapacitate the manager, and make off with 100 million in notes! Or sterlings, as they call them. I have no idea what a sterling is. And I don't plan to look it up either. No more Miss Nice Lady teaching you all these things. No, I'm gonna remain arrogant. Ignorant? I'm the two. Not looking that up either. Not tonight. I don't feel like it. Um, excuse the intrusion, but oh, Mr. Sloan's is in here too. Looks like he's in deep conversation with Miss Teller at the moment. Let me make one thing perfectly clear, Bianca. You're the general manager of the Layman's Reserve Bank, so you'd have to take responsibility when problems like this arise. And if it gets out that we've lost 100 million uh, quid, they'll be on the rush to the bank. All our customers would uh, want to take their deposits back. And if that happens, we're finished. Am I getting through to you? Loud and clear, Mr. Sloans. All right, then good. Got a lot of fate in you, though, Bianca. You know, weather this uh, storm for us. Hmm. The thing is... What? Nothing. Forget it. Where are you going now, Mr. Snones? The ventilator and the uh, hermit's blowing up. I gotta call the maintenance fella and get him uh, to take a look at him. I see. Bianca, if you got something to say, spit it out, lass. No, oh, really, it's... It's nothing. Alright, then if you'll, uh, sure, I'll be off. Make sure you see all the shim blasters, uh, jobs as well, uh, won't you? Yes, I will. Golly! They are in a real fix, aren't they? We gotta get that rotten mongrel, uh, that did this. Well, mongrel. Oh, Miss Leighton, I didn't see you in there. How's the investigation coming along? Well, I think we've just, done. Um, like to have a word with this teller again. Be my guest. That's all for now, then. Oh, it's you. Thought you were supposed to be investigating the robbery for us. 
Yes, that's what we're doing. I'm a very busy woman, so if there's anything, something you need uh, from me, could we keep it short, please? Look at her! She just has an attitude, consistently. Oops, real flowers. I don't like being lit. They were the plastic. I mean, do they? We do know flowers do feel. Do flowers not like being licked? Do they like the bees in them? Are they getting freaking with the bees? Are the birds and the bees actually like... Like, really? Like, are they... they... Doing sex? Are the birds and the bees doing sex? Oh my god. That might be happening. For real, real. I didn't even think about that. Expensive finishes are very impressive, but it's nice to see a touch of our nature in there, too. Oh, yes, there are miniature roses. They're rather charming, I think. Oh, this pot looks like a, a genuine antique. I should think it's very valuable. Gosh, please be careful when you're examining this pot, miss. You can't afford to replace it. So this is worth a lot of money. Uh, why? You can't sleep in it and you can't eat it. This is very true. 100%. You can't do either of those things. Oh, let's go. Oh! This is a jolly fine plate, don't you think? It's alright. Personally, I find the puzzle that's behind it more interesting. Gosh, I hadn't noticed. What a funny place to hide a puzzle. And yet, here we are. Puzzle time. Spaceship SOS. There's a spaceship that's out of fuel and is drifting in space. You need to get all the nearby energy orbs uh, to it in order to power up your engines again. You're going to move the orbs horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. Either to fuse of other orbs or to refuel the spaceship. Get them all to the spaceship either in one huge, huge, in one huge fused orb delivery or several smaller ones. You can't get around the asteroids, however. So... No, not you. Does it? It totally does! It does a little fusion thing! Let's go! Um... Oh, we could do diagonally! Pretty tricky, sis. Hmm. Oh, if you go all the way this way. Oh, no. Wait, undo. Undo. From here. Here to here. Here to here. Song. Okay, so can we do this diagonally? I don't want to do that. So we can get it this way. Like so. Oh, you know what we could do? Like so. I have you! I have you right here! Boo boo! Thank you! I love that fusion. Oh yeah, we got this. We still got it. Huge energy ball, go! I have a feeling that perhaps... Thank goodness I got that right. Easy! You did it! You breathed life into a spaceship once more! It's time to fire up the engines and do more interstellar exploration. Just watch the gauge this time, pilots. And I never did. Yeah, I didn't miss. I solved it. No, you didn't, Ernest. You didn't solve it. I did. Absolutely not, miss. But there's no uh, need to worry. I won't let you down. <laughs> <laughs> It's a puzzle, Ernest. You didn't make it. But it's true, Miss Layton. I chiseled it. <laughs> oh. 
All these books are to uh, total uh, gibberish to me. No clue what any of it means. There's a book entitled The, the Layman's Reserve Philosophy. Power to the people. Here. Oh, here's one of Madame uh, Dublay's books. Look. And there's this. Ooh, the fashion me stuff. Oh, why is there a thing here? Oh. Um, these papers here, that's private bank business. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry. It becomes a habit, you see, um, when you're a detective. You do seem to have an awful lot of documents there, though, and Miss Teller. What, these? They're all insurance documents. Not that there's anything to do with you. I didn't realize that Layman's uh, Reserve Bank offered insurance as well. Is there a new line of business oh, you're pursuing? No, this isn't insurance for our customers. This is our own insurance. The bank takes out insurance against unforeseeable mis mishaps and the like. If there was a fire or some other unforeseen disaster, they'd, we'd get a payout to cover any losses. Well, this is certainly an unforeseen disaster, isn't it? A bank robbery on this scale. Yes, that's true. It just goes to show you never know what's around the corner. Which... Oddly enough, um, I've had my car broken into before. Guess what? Insurance does not cover that. Why? I don't know. Insurance is a scam. Hmm. So the bank is insured. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghettos. Hmm. It would normally be compensated for the losses out of its control. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Mayhaps, mayhaps. All good here? Oh, oh, oh. Let's go! Nothing on this little thing. I thought for sure there's gonna be something juicy there. Safe. Oh, look at that cute little scythe. A world apart from the vault we were looking at before, isn't it? Perhaps we should install a safe like that in the office, Miss Layton. Sadly, Ernest, I don't have anything valuable enough to put in a safe. Or much money to speak of. We already got a safe place for all the documents. Hold high up on your desk. You're interested in my safe now, are you? Well, obviously it's tiny compared to the Hermit 5000, but Mr. Sloan's had this one put in as well. It was made by his company as well. Yes, although I don't know much about his business affairs outside of the bank. Apparently he marks these little saves as being as tough as a bank's fault. The boss is a very shrewd businessman, obviously. Mr. Sloan's is a perfect example of a manager as far as I'm concerned. Until now, he is mainly focused on the financial sector, but I think he's intending to branch out onto other areas from now on. Ah, oh, she really is an impressive man. Yes, it's quite extraordinary that just in ten years, the Layman's Reserve Bank has opened branches all over the country. That's, that's a little bit odd. I would I would say that's odd. Not not like woohoo, let's go, brilliant entrepreneur, you know. So you want to ask me something? Yes, that's right. I understand the disappearance of the money for the vault hasn't been made public yet. Obviously, the bank doesn't intend to keep something like this a secret forever. But there could be repercussions far beyond the layman's reserve bank itself. What do you mean? I mean the disappearance of 100 million pounds is likely to cause widespread financial uncertainty. And not just in London, all over the country, people will panic. That's why I've asked Inspector Hastings to keep this matter quiet until we've sorted it out as best we can. When the time is right, we'll issue a press release, and the bank will take full responsibility for any areas where its handling situation has been less than perfect. 
I see. Thank you. That explains it. Gosh, miss. I knew it was serious, but I didn't realize it was this serious. We have to find that missing money. Well, I think I got the information we need now. Thank you, Miss Teller. <laughs> I don't see any of that had to do with the robbery. What a waste of time. Don't worry, I assure you, we'll track down the missing money. And, ow, oh, I hurt myself by making a little gesture onto my chin. You see what I, what I do with the voices and such. I do act things out, like, out and about. And sometimes, you've had, shall we say, um, certain things happen to you with doctor appointments, and these certain things are taking out these little uh, hairs all over me chin, and that means it's a very sensitive area. So when I come in with my nails still pretty sharp and long, because I haven't cut them in a bit, like not in the sense that I need to cut them right now, but in the sense that like they're gonna need to be cut soon. Ow! <laughs> Lost, why don't you explain any of this? You, you barely made a mention. Listen, it hurt me. I went out. Hmm, well, I'm not holding up uh, much hope. Oh, don't you think I'm up to the task? What? Oh, um, no, no, no. No, I didn't mean that. Doesn't matter. Once all this is blown over, I expect. Be saying goodbye to my role as general manager in any case. But that's not fair! I mean, it's not your fault, is it, Miss Teller? It's the fault of whoever stole the money. Even so, the buck drops with me. I have to take responsibility for the bank's problems. And I don't imagine... Uh, well, I can't see you catching the criminals in this case. Oh, don't worry, Miss Teller. Miss Layton's never been stumbled uh, by a mystery yet. I have no doubt she'll figure out who did this. If I've been stumped, I suppose I should be reassured. If you don't believe. Like, yeah, sure. Bunch of kids. Mm hmm. The schoolgirl's gonna help me out? I don't think so. All I gotta say to that is just like, I would dress up for her and have her do things. There's something about mean women! I don't know what to tell you! I'm weak! I'm weak. 